Subtools are multiple pieces of mesh added together into a single canvas. The demo soldier is a perfect example of this as he has multiple subtools. You can see these subtools by simply opening up the subtool palette. Each one of these subtools was actually created in a variety of ways. We can do this through mesh extraction, or we can create it in external programs and then import it into ZBrush and then append it as a subtool. We can also use the primitive 3D objects that we have available to us in ZBrush and then append them as polymesh subtools. Let's start an example a little bit simpler than the demo soldier. I'm going to hit the letter T and then Control N to clear my canvas. Go into my tool palette and I'll select a cube. Click and drag to draw that into the canvas. Hit edit and then click make polymesh 3D. As we rotate this cube, let's hold shift so we can snap it into position. So currently with my subtool palette open, you'll notice that I have one subtool, the cube. Let's create another subtool. I'm going to click on the gear 3D and simply turn it into a poly mesh. Now that this has been turned into a poly mesh, if I want, I can append the cube, which is also a poly mesh, inside the subtool palette of this gear. Let's scroll down to where it says append. I'll click on append and then simply click on the poly mesh cube. You notice that's been added in on top of the gear. Because the cube is a little bit bigger, I can't quite see the gear. Well, let's get the cube out of the way. Inside the subtool palette, I'll click on the cube and then I'm going to move up to here where it says move. Once I click on move, I'll see the action line show up. You can click on the cube and redraw your action line anywhere you like. Once you draw in your action line, you can click inside the center circle with your move active and then click and drag this over. That way we can position it pretty much anywhere we like. We can switch over to scale. I'm going to redraw my action line click inside the center top circle and I can scale this cube up if I like. I can also click on rotate. I can use the same action line. I'll click inside the top circle and I can rotate this cube around the axes of the bottom circle. Or we can click inside the bottom circle and rotate around the axes of the top circle. Let's affect the gear subtool. So simply I'll click on the gear in the subtool palette to make it the active subtool. I'll click move. Click to draw an action line. And then I can move this subtool around. If you like, you can redraw your action line in at any point. Let's bring the gear up here. Let's click scale click inside the top circle, and then we can scale this gear up. Let's click on Rotate. So we've already seen with Rotate Active, we can rotate around the top pivot, around the bottom pivot. But if we actually click inside the center circle, we can turn it in place. So I suggest when you're new to subtools, to practice appending different subtools, different poly meshes into a subtool palette, and then using your move, scale, and rotate to position, scale, and rotate those different subtools. Once you're done, you can create your own subtools or play around with a demo soldier.